Hi, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage. I'm at the flea market today. And I'm very excited about it. It is the first day that I've been able to go in 2021. Um, all the other spring days were rainy and cold, and today is absolutely gorgeous. But I think everybody else has the same idea. Um, the parking lot has already been um, rather full <laughs> at this early hour. I'm hoping to find lots of really fun stuff. Join me. All right, this booth is exactly right up Tina's alley. <laughs> No, they don't. They're still There's no end. Well, because they ain't got no answer, that's it. Look at that. There's another one. Asking for the building lights. Okay.
lessons. Look at all the little doxy dogs. I'm gonna take a picture of that though. Show Brady. There's a doxy. Door stop. You just never know what you're gonna find at the flea market. I've been looking for a metal trash can for a while. Um, it's not exactly pretty, but I've been looking for one for the studio so that I could um, use it for my um, oil painting stuff because you don't want to put that into a plastic receptacle. So anyway, and the best part, I only paid $5 for that garbage can. No the <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I think it is gross. But she never hates eight bucks. Yeah. It is. Ten dollars. Oh, you're asking for the boil mold? It's 35. This one, and what about these? This is 40 for the pair. These are 1968 perfect condition, and this is a rare one because it got the witch and the cat. Yeah, that's cool. And it's perfect. Yeah, people want lower, and I'm like, <laughs> if they were like, they're perfect condition <laughs> and non smoking home. Sold, they never came back. They were supposed to be back in three hours again. Oh, dear. Lots of great stuff. All the babies. Look at that one. Oh, she's fun. Her Fourth of July. skirt's falling off. Mm -hmm. 
see any prices on anything, just ignore the prices because they're not real. Okay, <laughs> okay thank you. Fun. This is metal. Yep, what everybody wants. A pap box. <laughs> Misty's favorite kind of clown. He's been repairing. He's got a big... So I found some good things at the flea market. It was so hot and it was the first time that I have walked like that in ages and my body is not happy with me. <laughs> but on my way home, I saw a sign for an estate sale and I got all excited. So I stopped only to discover that it really was a garage sale. Um, there were maybe two tables total with stuff on it. Nothing in the house. That's always disappointing when that happens. Um, so anyway, great time today at the uh, flea market, and I will share the haul with you later. Of course, it's summertime, so that means that everybody's out mowing their lawns. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. I have to film the haul. <laughs> it was so hot today at the flea market, but I don't want to complain because we have winter... I swear it feels like nine months out of the year here in Ohio so but boy it was hot my body's yelling at me and I was done by the time I left but anyway I'm gonna turn this around I'm gonna do the haul out of my car so I don't forget to do it all right so I got this adorable hull kitty planter it's in great condition let me show you the bottom it says hull hull art it has this little thing here that doesn't doesn't go around to the other side or very very faintly anyway other than that it's in great condition all right so you know I had to get those I paid a dollar a piece for those so you know that this guy was absolutely coming home with me I grabbed this cute little squeaky toy tiger look at that So I was going to buy this sweet little boy, but neither me nor the lady selling it realized that its legs were broken. 
And when she noticed it first, she just threw it in the bag. And he's staying with me, so I don't care. So thanks to Katie from Vintage and Vinyl, I keep an eye out for these um, typewriter tins now when I see them. Um, and these are one. This one is as one I haven't seen um, before. So I picked that one up. I paid more for that one. Picked that up because look at that. Isn't that absolutely adorable? It's like oh my gosh, too cute. And then this, I liked the image on the front of it. Look at that beautiful image. And then this one has a beautiful image as well. All right, this is just a box, but isn't it awesome? I just love this. Absolutely fabulous. I got this for me because I told myself if I ever, ever found a red one for $15, I would get it. Now, it wasn't 15 not originally, but I got it for 15 I didn't notice when I picked it up, though, that it had all of that, uh, it looks like paint spray on it. So I'm going to have to give it a shot to clean it up. But it is going to stay with me. It's going to uh, go in my bedroom. So the guy that did my parents' clean out was there, and I got this cute little doll from him. I also picked up this magazine from him, December 1948. The imagery in this is unbelievable. I love it. Um, I got it to sell, but I feel like I'm going to be hard-pressed to sell it. Because look at all these great ads and everything. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have, um, there's some Christmas stuff in here too. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. <laughs> This is so awesome. I'm trying to find some of the, there's some really beautiful imagery in here. Put that up there. There's actually, I haven't come across it yet. I saw it when I was picking out this magazine. There's a really, oh, that's pretty. Really, some really pretty vintage full color pictures. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. I'm so happy to have that. So I grabbed this for $4. I thought it was a really good deal. Um, I'm going to use that in the studio to display things. I picked up this cutie. She's a candle holder. She's in really nice condition. She's just got a little bit of paint loss there on her lips. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't usually buy tins, but this one just spoke to me. It is a chocolate tin, and it just opens, hold on, it opens up like that, and I just thought it was gorgeous, really pretty. Like I said, I didn't even look at these until I found out from Katie how collectible they are. So I picked this one up because it was a little different. I like that it's red, white, and blue. Alright, so this guy wasn't staying there. He definitely had to come home with me. <laughs> the guy said he had a partner, but somebody bought the partner and he could not talk her into buying this one. So that's okay. It was good for me. I adore this. This is staying with me, but look at how cute. Look at how cute. Absolutely adorable. 
All right, this guy's adorable too, and I swear he had a Japan sticker on him, but it has come off. He's an ornament. There was no way this cutie was staying there, so he came home with me. I think he's missing the top of his candle, but other than that, he's in very good condition. So I picked up a bag of this scrap, and I think it's actual Victorian scrap. It has some serious age to it, and uh, several of them show indication that they were in a scrapbook. So there were some other pieces too, as you can tell some of them are faded. But he had $12 on the whole set of them, which may seem high unless you're familiar with <laughs> this stuff but I didn't pay $12 for it he gave it to me for four and that was his offer he said ah, if you want it I'll take four I'm like yes These beauties are awesome. They're little bells made in Japan. And this one has Japanese lettering on it. I'm pretty sure that's what that is because it says a Japanese Merry Christmas. And then this one says Bon Natale in Italian Merry Christmas. These pretty little girls are gonna stay with me at least for the time being. All right, so I was walking by a table, and I really try to avoid the books, but this one <laughs> called to me, probably because of my recent whale watching excursion, and um, I don't know the prices for everything that I bought here, but I do know that I paid $2 for this book, so I like it. It goes with the whale watching. I may sell it eventually. I'm going to at least read it, though. <laughs> This is one of the first things that I picked up. Um, it was in a box that I had to dig through of other stuff, mostly modern Christmas, but I'm pretty sure that he's an older Japan piece, even though he doesn't say it. And there's some crazing on him, and that's where his little sticker would have been. The people where I got this figurine were packing up as I was walking by and I saw her and I'm like oh she's pretty cool so I think I paid just a few dollars for her I don't really know um, what her provenance is except there was a sticker there um, so it's possible that she was one of the made in Japan's from a while ago These next few items were all from the same booth, and I saw this Puda, and I loved it. It's articulated, if that's the right word. It's a stuffed animal. It is missing its eyes, but it's so great. But I saw the little tag on it that said, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it said $10 on it, but I decided to just ask the guy what he wanted for the poodle anyway. And he said, oh, I think I have $10 marked on it, but you can have it for 5 So I was real happy to get that. Love that. Everybody loves the poodles, and I love the stuffed animal. This is from that same guy. I bought a lot of stuff from him. He had a really good booth. Um, I bought these. I think they're little celluloid dolls. Sorry about that. As an artist, I love the vintage um, watercolor tins. So I picked this one up. I had not seen this one before with the Noah's Ark. So I like that. This is the first one of these that I've purchased. 
Um, it has the concave glass on it. It's back painted in the front, the silhouette, and then it has the lithograph. I think it's a lithograph on the back. Um, I know that Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage really likes these. And um, so I saw it. I thought it was a cute, um, you know, cute image. So I picked it up. All right. So, oh my gosh. These are made in Japan. They're tiny. Can you see how big my thumb is compared to them? Let's see if we can focus it again. See that? They're awesome. This one has a Christmas tree made in Japan. I don't know what this one has, but definitely Christmas as well. So I was really excited to get those. Those are staying with me. All right, from that same guy who had all the good stuff, I bought this Valentine. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Here's another Valentine. This one's mechanical. Her little hand goes back and forth up there. Stop when I signal, because I have your Valentine. <laughs> it's rather large, too. Look at that. It's cool. He had many more Valentines, but I did get this one because I thought this one was really cool. Let's see if I can get it to work for you. So it says, there are two reasons why I can't be your Valentine. That one says my husband. And that one says I'm married. And look, her eyes are rolling. Isn't that fun? I love that. At another booth, I picked up this. This is a teeny tiny package of matches, or anyway, it's a match box. However, when I asked him how much it cost, he opened it, and I'll do that in a second and show you. Hold on. And he showed me that there were little tiny strands, sorry for the shaking, of glass beads inside. I love that. That's staying with me. All right, so this should be no surprise to anyone who watches my channel. I, of course, found some, play, um, yeah, some playing cards that I had to have. I thought that these were really, really cute. Sorry for the dog. I thought that these were really, really cute. So it should be no wonder that he picked these up as well. These are all um, artist stuff. Rembrandt, um, Mona Lisa, and then that's Jean Clout, Jean Clouet. I'm sorry, I pronounced that wrong. Um, anyway, they don't all fit in this box, so I have to check it out. And I think it's possible that I actually have two decks of each one, but we'll see. But uh, definitely they don't fit. But of course I had to have them. Art, playing cards, right? <laughs> I was drawn to this piece because of the glaze. And then I was pleasantly surprised when I turned it over and saw that it was weighed. So I picked that up as well. So that does it for the haul on this 90 degree northeast Ohio day. <laughs> it's really hot. Um, but I did want to get it all filmed so I didn't forget about it. And, um, you know, so I could put it away when I got back to the studio. So I hope you enjoyed that. I always love going to the flea market. You never know what you're going to find. And um, today was a great day for um, finds, as you could tell. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you will subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified when I go live or post new content. And as always, please comment and share. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.